Hey everybody! Sorry about the lighting today. I'm not using natural lighting because the sun is not out. It's really overcast today. I'm using artificial lighting and my makeup mirror is like right next to me. That's why it's a bit brighter on this side. My, my better side. Anyways, um, this video is on how I keep my makeup on all day and it was requested by Mochi Freak X aka my friend Heather. Hi Heather. So let's get started. What I usually do before I put on any makeup is I start out with a face primer and this sounds gross the name of it but it's not. It's silicone based and it's compared to the Smashbox face primer and it's really good actually. Um, it's called the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. It looks like this. It's not gross, don't worry. And um, it says it relieves chafing from moisture, movement, and shaving. I don't think you'd be shaving your face, except maybe whatever. <laughs> um, but it relieves chafing, so like if you don't want any dryness to show or any, like if you have any acne marks that are dry or any part of your face that's dry, this helps to act as a barrier between your skin and the makeup that you put on. So it's very good. That's what I would start out with. That's what mostly helps keep my makeup on all day. Then I would put liquid foundation on. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in N3 Natural Buff. I would put that on and to set the makeup, to set the liquid foundation, I would put on either a translucent powder. This is, I just put a rubber band over it. But this is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder, aka translucent powder. You put that on with a brush or you would put on um, you would set the liquid foundation with a pressed powder. This is the, I hit pan in it, but this is the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in 120. Just looks like this, and then it has a mirror and a poof. I really recommend this, it's very good. After you put on your primer, liquid foundation, and then you set it with the translucent powder or pressed powder, you would put on blush if you want to, it's optional. But put on a, a cream blush first. This is the NYC Blushable Cream Stick in Big Apple Blush. It's very pretty. You would set, the key word is to set, okay? You would set uh, the cream blush with a powder blush. I have here the Fox in a Box, Fox in a Box blush by Hard Candy and it looks like this comparable to Benefit's blush in a box. Yeah. And um, it's really good. I, I recommend it. The basic things that you'd want to do is to put on a face primer first. Face primer. Okay. Uh, if you're putting on foundation, liquid foundation, make sure you set it with loose powder or pressed powder such as this if you're putting on a blush put on a cream blush first and then set it with a powder and also for eyeshadow if you're putting on an eyeshadow make sure that you s you put on a primer first eyelid primer maybe the one by Urban Decay or Too Faced or the one uh, a cheaper version is the e.l.f. eyelid primer. It was like a dollar or two. It's not bad. Or you could put on like a cream based eyeshadow just to help keep the pigment or the eyeshadow on for a longer amount of time. And it also helps to keep to um, make your eyeshadow very pigmented. So I recommend that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the video. Thank you. Sorry if I keep saying um and all that. And so, so, and um. I know, I'm a geek. <laughs> so, once again, that video is for you, Heather. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please comment, rate, and or subscribe. Bye.